So I heard a story recently on NPR about the Fuji Q Highland Amusement Park near Tokyo. The story was about the park officials making a very strange request of the park attendees when they're riding their roller coasters at the park. Now you might be thinking, what did the park officials ask people to do on the roller coasters? You know, stay seated at all times? Well, yes, but that's not what the story was about. You know, riders have to be a certain height to ride the roller coasters? Yes, but that's not what the story was about either. What made this story so unique and quite honestly, very strange, was that the park officials asked the roller coaster riders to quote, scream inside your heart and not out loud. Yes, when you're on their roller coasters, they wanted you to scream inside your heart and not out loud. I love that story because a lot of us have been taught when it comes to our emotions to just scream inside our heart, bury your feelings, ignore your emotions, shove it all down and just go along for the ride on this insane roller coaster called life. Uh, one of the things that, that honestly makes me kind of angry is that People think they can always tell when someone is depressed. But my experience is, you know, we actually can't because a depressed person often looks like a happy person on the outside. And why is that? Because as a society, we have taught each other to scream inside our hearts, to just pretend like everything's okay. So let's talk about how to get more aware about what's happening inside of us. Being able to do a, a quick check-in, you see, part of building your EQ is getting smart about what's happening on the inside of you. Sure, you may look calm and collected on the outside, but how do you really feel on the inside? Are you paying attention to that? Can you name the emotions that you're feeling? Do you know what to do with those emotions and what they mean? Do you understand your emotional state? So I wanna give you a, a simple picture of how to check in with your emotions to get smart about them. I want us to sort of define three categories or states of emotion that we could occupy at different times during the day. And there are ways to describe the kind of the temperature of your emotions. And you can just dial into the temperature of your emotions. You'll, you'll be good when it starts, when it comes to raising your EQ. Or maybe for a certain season of your life, you've been in a, a, an emotional state that you don't really know how to define it or what to call it. And having a high EQ means you're able to name your current temperature, no matter whether it's a season or in a day or in a moment. So the first state that many of us experience is what I call emotional boiling. And this is where we have a hot, intense emotions that are just boiling within us. Anger, rage, deep sadness, despair. These would be emotions that boil and can burn the insides of you if you simply choose to ignore them. So let's do a quick check-in. Do you feel like there's some emotions that are boiling inside of you right now? Second state of emotions is what I call an emotional simmer. And this is an emotional state where your emotions are staying just below the boiling point, but they're still pretty heated. For example, uh, an ongoing frustration with a friend an irritation at work, feelings of unforgiveness, uh, generally worrying and stressed out about money or the future. This is an emotional simmer. And if you're in this emotional state, I mean, here's the truth. You can stay there for a while and not have it be a big deal, unlike emotional boiling, uh, you know, where that will, will fry your insides. But, but the reality is if your emotions are simmering right now, <laughs> it might not take much more to send you into an emotional boil. So notice this, check in, don't ignore it, pay attention. You know, ask yourself, are my feelings right now in an emotional simmer? So finally, the, the third state of emotions is what I refer to as emotionally cool, <laughs> which means you're, you're chill or grounded with your emotions. These types of emotions, they feel like peace and gratitude, security and safety. And the more that you can be in this emotional state, the more pleasant and fulfilling life will be. The more energy you put towards actively embracing this emotional state, 
the better. So we have these three states of emotional temperature. And if you have a high EQ, you'll, you'll know how to tap into the resources that you need to bring into each emotional state. And, and also you're just willing to take action no matter where you're at, a boil, a simmer, or cool. If you're in an emotional boil right now, do something about it. Start to process those emotions that are boiling. You know, use therapy or talking about it or processing it with safe people. Otherwise, those emotions are gonna burn you up. If you're in an emotional simmer, maybe journaling might be helpful. Talking with a friend or processing it with some trusted mentors might help you lower the temperature and help you feel more grounded. And if your current state is emotionally cool, well, my friend, stay cool. I'm Mike Foster, this is EQ, and we'll see you next time. And remember, if this has been helpful to you, it might be helpful to someone else too. So please take a moment and share and like this video.